to take this model here and I want you to keep in mind where the forehead is here and twist it around and tilt it up and show you what we have here on the inside. We are now looking at the floor of the cranium. I want to walk through the structures that you see in white. These are cranial nerves. And I want to walk through the structure that you'll see in red. This is the blood supply that comes up and feeds into your brain. So obviously we are looking at the cranial floor here. Uh, the easiest place to start is at the top of the screen here. You remember your forehead is like right at the top here. So just behind your, behind your forehead, um, we have in this region the olfactory bulb in the olfactory tract. That's what makes up your olfactory nerve. That's cranial nerve number one. We also have the optic nerve. That's cranial nerve number two, again, for vision. If we work our way a little bit further down, you can see this big one right here. That's cranial nerve number five. That is the trigeminal nerve. You can see that big one right there, right there. Actually, the reason we call it trigeminal um, if you know the term Gemini, Gemini means born together, like a twin. So trigeminal, three born together, one, two, three. And on this side, you can actually see why we call it trigeminal. There is an ophthalmic branch, there is a, a maxillary branch, and there is a mandibular branch. So that's the trigeminal nerve. Um, from there, if we go a little bit further down, you will see uh, cranial nerve, let's see, number six. We can see six right here. That's abducens. That's the one that helps us abduct our eye. If we go over here, you can see um, the facial nerve. That's number seven. And just posterior to that, you'll see vestibulocochlear. That's cranial nerve number eight. Then we get down to this next set of three, and we have... Uh, glossopharyngeal, that's 9. We have vagus, that's 10. And we have the accessory nerve, that's 11. Uh, you can see them over on this side as well. Uh, this would be number 7, facial. This would be number 8, vestibulocochlear. And then here, 9, 10, 11. This would be um, glossopharyngeal, this 9. This would be vag pardon me, yeah, vagus, 10. And then this is accessory. Sometimes you'll hear it as spinal accessory. That's number 11. And then we come back up to hypoglossal. That's number 12 right here. And if you actually look at the very bottom here of the screen, you can see the spinal cord. In fact, there's the sort of that butterfly-shaped structure, the gray matter, surrounded by the white matter. With regard to the blood supply that comes up and feeds the brain, I'm actually going to start right here. If you look at this wishbone shaped vessel, uh, you can actually think of it, it's better to think of it as an upside down V, because then you'll remember V for vertebral. So these are your vertebral arteries. These are the ones that run through those transverse foramen on the cervical spinal column. Um, but that's vertebral. Uh, coming off of that right here, this is posterior inferior cerebellar artery, posterior because it's going back, inferior because it's on the bottom of your cerebellum, so posterior inferior cerebellar arteries. Uh, remember this is your spinal cord, so this one right here is going to be the anterior spinal artery. Remember anterior is at the top of the screen here, posterior is at the bottom, so anterior spinal. Uh, those lead into the basilar artery. And again, this is the basilar artery as it runs up right through here. Coming up from here, this one that comes underneath, let me angle this just a little differently, this one that comes underneath right here, this is going to be the superior cerebellar artery. And again, you can see it coming off on the side as well, superior because it's on top of the cerebellum. And then we get into the uh, posterior cerebral artery. Again, posterior cerebral is going to branch this way. Posterior cerebral here on this side is going to branch this way. 
as we lead up here, this on here, this side here, and on this side here, this is what we call posterior communicating artery. And then that leads into this right here, which obviously you can tell has been cut. This is the internal carotid artery. And this right here actually is the um, the posterior side or the back half of the cerebral arterial circle. Sometimes it's called the circle of Willis. Um, and obviously this is going to have an anterior side as well, which I'll show you on a different model. Um, but all this runs right through here and starts to distribute blood out to the rest of the brain. And you can actually see just underneath there the hypothesis or the pituitary gland is sitting right under there.